<laughs> hey guys, how about we keep it dirty off road? So here's what we're reviewing today. Giraffe Tools new P106 G30, which is a 2200 PSI pressure washer. And the reason why this is one that really interested me and definitely something I wanted to try out is for two reasons. One, it has a hundred feet of hose. Typical pressure washer only has 25 to 50 feet and you end up having to move away the hell out and it's a pain in the butt. Second, this has a hose reel that reels by itself. If you've ever had a pressure washer, you know, they all say they have a reel, but you have to disconnect the hose to reel it and it never works. And when you unreel it, it just gets coiled up and kinked and it never works. The hose reel never works. I'm hoping that this one is a whole lot easier to use and it'll work better than our current pressure washer. The other thing that makes this kind of different is that it's wall mounted. So we're gonna see what that's like. All right, so guys, today we're gonna unbox this, show you what everything comes in the box. We're gonna get it installed and we got the truck nice and dirty just so we can do a proper test of this thing. Let's get to it. Hose fittings. Looks like a high quality soap dispenser. I'm guessing this is its container. You have a quick disconnect for your hose. Comes with a little level. I'm guessing that's for installation. All of your fittings and your wall mounting hardware. This is main hose fitting. And it looks like this is where the bits would go into. Give it a try, Ethan. Put those in there. Ooh, look at the size of that. Look at this, Ethan. It's practically assembled already. I think the only thing we gotta do is mount it to a wall. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Let's Come on, Dad. Okay. It also comes with a little bit of hose. Oh, I think. And then this is the gun. Let's go over some of the features of why I think this thing is so cool. First of all, the obvious one. This is a self-contained unit. This reel right here automatically holds itself back up when you pull it out. So, Ethan, let's try this out real quick. You pull it out. Okay. Okay. Let go a little bit. Tightens, and then. Give it a little bit of a pull and then goes back in. And it's supposed to guide everything back so that everything's nice and neat and it doesn't have any kinks. A couple of things that I noticed too that were kind of cool is it has a spot for everything. Your little foam cannon, your gun goes right here. It does have two handles to make it easy to carry. So if you need to pop it off, you can. Here's your on and off button. On this side is this orange thing. Your water hookup is on this side. And then on the back, it is designed to pop on and off. So if you need it to disconnect it and move it, you can. There's a handle back there and you can pop it off and put it down on the ground wherever you need it. It comes with its own little extra hose. So if you want to put this next to say your already existing hose, you can. It has a nice hose that comes with it. It also comes with a quick disconnect hose. And the next part is the nozzles. You have quite a bit of nozzles from, let's see, we have a 40 degree, 25 degree, 15 degree, and a zero degree. So this looks like it's a straight beam, very narrow, all the way up to the widest. The most common one you'll probably end up using is the white one. Zero degree, 15 degree, 25, four degrees, your widest one. And then it also comes with clog tool. So now we gotta figure out where we're gonna install this thing. Ideally, you wanna put this indoors. It can be put outdoors, but it's not really designed to be out in like, say, snow. You don't wanna put anything that has, that can store water like this, cause this thing will hold water. You wanna put something like that out in the snow or in the cold. So we're gonna figure out a place to put it in our garage that'll also make it accessible to cleaning our trucks and go from there. Now we gotta figure that out. For our install location, we picked a location towards the edge of our garage by the door and we started to clear and clean the area. Thinking, we're gonna put it down low and maybe Ethan, you might be right. It might be better to put it right about here. Can maybe go a little bit higher. Maybe right about there. The only drawback is the water hookup is over here, but that might be better to keep it away from all the electrical too. Now, we just gotta find out where the studs are. I'm gonna do a little bit extra reinforcement because if you look at this plate, if I were to put this on the wall, it would only end up being on a single stud. That's not gonna be strong enough for the stresses I'm gonna be putting through this. And even though the kit does have anchors, much weight I wouldn't recommend just on drywall. So we're gonna do a piece of plywood that's wide enough as the studs, and then we're gonna mount that on top of that. Hi. Montage! 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 Oh my god, voice crack. All right guys, so this is our install, and then we put our bracket onto that, smaller screws, that's super strong. Now it's time to mount it. Easy, easy, easy. Steady. There she is. Everything's on the wrong side. No, that's okay. That's exactly how we want it. I do want the hose on this side because it'll make it easier to hook it up. The on off is over there, and we just gotta route the power somewhere off to that side. We'll set oh, up the well, extension, we cord. extension cord. Like, no, yeah. The power strip just... But I like the way this turned out. 
So installation was fairly easy to set up. I mean, we really didn't have to go through the installation yes, manual. All we had to do is unbox it. Comes pre-assembled, you know, starting about some safety Let me, rules and all that stuff, but that's it. Now, we probably should have paid closer attention to the instructions, as you will see here. Now, because we plan on putting this inside, we are going to connect the provided hose and use their little connect kit to uh, hook it all up. That way we have a much better hold on it. Because I know my water system and mine gets a lot of air pockets in it and air pockets are bad for pressure washers They just cause problems. So before I connect it to the pressure washer I put one of these types of fittings that allows me to let all the air out of the system because there is air Let me show you See that I need to get all that air out of there before I hook it up to that not everybody has to go through this, but this is something we have to go through just because of the way our pipes are. Alright, we're gonna do a water test. Yeah, I told you. Can you do your... Okay, so that leaked and that leaked. Both of them leaked. I think, it, I think it's the fitting that's leaking. Let's try it again. By the way? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's coming out of the place that's moving. Okay. Do you want to use this to tighten it up, by the way? Yes. So I'll tighten this up as far as I can go with my hand. Yep. Yeah. Nothing. No movement? No movement. So this fitting over here. Yeah, that's why it was supposed to go like that. Yes. We had it back. Okay, you ready? Yep. No leakage. I see I feel no leakage. And it's filling up right now. Because it has to fill hundred feet of worth of hose. Once we saw the adapter at the current location, we finally had a tight fit and no more leaks. We cleaned up our mess and got ready to test. All right, now this thing is supposed to be designed to make pulling the reel as easy as possible. So that's what we're gonna to try to do right now. We're gonna pull it all out and see how far we can go with this thing. So I'm at the end of my driveway and we're still going. Still going. So here we are guys. I'm in the middle of the street. I'm almost at my neighbor's house. This is more than enough hose to wash the, the kids' cars right there where they're at. And here's the cool part. Let's do a, a reel. So you want to pull it once so that we can let it start reeling it and I got to help it out. And you just kind of guide it back. Look at that. Nice and neat. And that's the best feature of this thing, guys. Look at that. It did it by itself. It did it completely by itself. Very easy, no kinks. Okay, now we're gonna do a proper test to see what it would be like to actually use this thing. And we got a nice and dirty truck to do it with. Ew. There's a reason why the show is called Keep It Dirty. I wanna see if I can do this by myself without the boys. Normally when we do this, I need the boys help big time. We have to Just connect the hose. We have to set up an extension cord. We have to set up the hose. We have to stretch out the hose, get all the kinks out of it just to use it and it takes forever. I'm gonna see how easy this is. Let's see what it does. Pull out some more hose. Now let's see how good this does. So we haven't actually tried it out. They give you a couple of options, guys, but honestly, you want to use the widest option when you're working on your vehicle. Or 40. Because any of these, you know, if you use like the straight one, you're probably going to strip paint off of this thing. So let's give it a try. Oh, Christian, go turn it on. It is loud, but it's already quieter than that other one. So I'm gonna try going a little bit down one of the more narrow ones, see how it handles it. So let's go to the green one. Oh yeah, this is gonna be Look at that. Woo I like it. The retractable hose, the way everything is organized. I like this thing. I like it a lot. I'm really happy with the way this thing is. Draft Tool sent this to us. I was a little hesitant. After I seen their products, they looked high quality. And after playing with it, I'm really impressed. I really like this setup. It uses standard fitting. So if you wanted to use a different uh, gun, you can. And I think you can even extend the hose if you wanted to. I don't know why you would want to though. 100 feet is more than enough. This thing is amazing. And it's doing a good job of cleaning up the truck. We're gonna stop the video for right now. And then we're gonna come back tomorrow because right now the rain caught us. Tomorrow we're gonna do a quick test of the foam cannon and see how well that works and close out the video.
Oh, look at that there. It does have some problems every once in a while. So it looks like it skipped at one point. We definitely have a problem with the way it recalled, and I think it was because of the way we had it on there. So I'm gonna have you guys, one of you guys start taking it out that way. It's a little bit off, that's why. The mechanism's a little bit off from where it should be. You know what? I think part of it is keeping tension on it when it's going back yeah. so that it doesn't go slack. As long as you do that, it's good. Okay, let's go ahead and turn this off and let's empty it out. Because of the length of the hose on this thing though, guys, you'll never get all the air out. I mean, you could probably put an air hose to it and push it all out, but if you guys are, you know, storing it indoors, you should be fine. Those of you guys that store it outdoors, get all that water out of there, especially when you're getting close to winter. I want to show you guys why this thing is so cool. We're going to do a side-by-side -side comparison with our old pressure washer that's very much like most of your typical pressure washers and show you guys the benefits of running something like this and how much time it's going to save you, just how much easier it's going to be to use. And my boys are going to test it out. Now, as we're going through it, the hose line is not going to be a factor. We're actually going to connect the hose line to the new system. We're not going to use the old one. This test is mainly to show you guys how easy it is to set this up, use it, and then put it away. The goal is to get these two hooked up to power, get the lines connected, and then the winner is the first one that can get the line all the way to the end of the driveway. Got it? Yeah. Okay. Now, this was our old one. This is your typical mid-level electric pressure washer out there. It's very large. It's got a large footprint, but at least it has a cart. Now this one said that it had a reel on it, but that reel only works if the cable is disconnected. You can have the cable connected and use the reel because see where the water hookup is? It'll just sit there and rip it off. Now also this one had a very cheap hose on it and we had to replace it with a nicer, more professional hose. So that's what you're looking at here. And if you look at it, this is the way we normally store it. We cannot really use that hose reel and it's really annoying. So setup takes a really long time. We also bought it's matching foam cannon. And if I'm honest, that foam cannon is not the best. And it does have a soap dispenser, but honestly that soap dispenser is junk. It requires using this bit. It's very wasteful. I'm not a fan of it. And this thing leaks like crazy. I mean, you could see it by all the watermarks everywhere. It leaks like crazy. I'm not a fan of this system and it takes a long time to set up. So let's go do the side by side comparison so you guys can see it. All right guys, let's go. So we are going to test the foam cannon next. Here's the, the soap we use. We use uh, Chemical Guys Snow Foam. Try it on now. we need to go over another procedure that is recommended in the manual and that's basically what they recommend you do before you store it and bore it before you retract the cord and that is to drain as much water as you can so to do that first we got to go turn it off turn off the water disconnect the water put it down a little drain relieve all as much of the water and pressure now, when you start retracting the hose, you need to give it one large tug, and then you want to try to keep the tension so that it coils it back up correctly. So let's go ahead and do that, Ethan. We are letting our wall kind of keep a little bit of tension on there, but you can see how it's coiling it all up. And that's it. You are done. 
So there it is, you guys. We really like testing this out. We could already see this saving us a ton of time, making it so much easier to wash the truck and just want us to use it more, right? Part of the hassle with the, our old system was the setup just made it so that we never wanted to use it. In fact, if the boys ever heard me say we got a pressure wash, they were quite annoyed and they said, no, not pressure washing. <laughs> Cause it takes so much time to set it up and then tear it down. We love this thing. It's gonna save us a lot of time. It's gonna make it so that we use the pressure washer more often. So the truck's gonna stay cleaner. Yeah, I know the channel's name is keep it dirty, but just gonna stay cleaner. And it's a smaller footprint. Normally the other pressure washer takes up a whole section of the garage. We're constantly tripping over it. This just gets on the wall. It's completely out of the way. It's very easy to use, very easy to retract. And I hope we get a lot of use out of it. Now, if you guys wanna get one, these are for sale now. They go for about $300 on Giraffe Tools website. And I would highly recommend it. Your typical pressure washer runs at about $150. So this thing is a massive upgrade from that with the automatic hose reel. It is rated for 2200 PSI, but its actual operating is or closer to 1700 PSI. So make sure you keep that in mind. If you need something with a lot of power, you're probably better off going with gas than electric. We prefer electric because it's just easier. So have to worry about getting gas it's just easier would we pay our own money to get this i definitely would especially now after trying it out and seeing how easy it is to use we're going to put a link to their website below so that you guys can get a set it is a brand new product guys so it is going to sell out quick so just be patient with them as they uh, start ramping up inventory for those that don't want to buy directly from them we're going to put an amazon link there as well for those that want to use amazon to purchase and we're also going to add this to our amazon page as well if you guys want to get a set all right guys put any questions or comments below please consider subscribing thanks a lot for watching keep those trucks dirty and with this get them clean afterwards Comes with those. Okay, so we're not gonna find any studs, guaranteed. Well, first we should make sure this works. It works. <laughs> it's not a handsome stud, but it's a stud. <laughs> Gotta make sure we clean our butt. No, get it deep in there. Get it deep in there. <laughs> 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 <laughs>